in the card game Roco, uh, you have 49 cards in all, and they're dealt in a 7x7 seven seven array. Every time you deal the cards out, obviously the order will be different because you will have shuffled. There's one card which is called the marker card, and that has the words row and column written on it. And basically the play is fairly simple. One player takes on the role of the row player, and the other one is the column player. Or you could play pairs of players versus pairs of players. Uh, once you choose whether you are either the row or the column, for the entire game you are playing rows or columns. And sometimes you might want to roll a dice, for example, to get, choose who's the row or column player. But imagine that we've already done that, and I'm playing columns. And the name of the game is really to collect cards, so that at the end when I've got my set of collected cards and I add them up, I've got the largest total. So if I look in this column here, probably the largest number and the best pick would be to pick the 8. So I'm going to collect the 8, but notice that I move the row and column card to that spot because that becomes the new marker. Now I've got 8, the other player then has a shot and that player can only choose a card from that row. Now there's a lot of negative numbers in here, so quite likely they will go for the 6. Now I'm hoping that the player goes for the 6, because when you look down at this column, I've got the highest number is 12, so naturally I'd go and collect the 12. I move the marker card, and now I'm on 20 points. Sometimes it's better to go for a lower uh, total, because what I might end up with is sacrificing certain cards in order to give away less points. So there becomes a bit of a strategy sitting here. So in this case here, the row player is probably still going to collect this 8. And I get access to some of the numbers in this row. If there were two numbers the same in this, um, sorry, in this column, if there were two numbers the same in this column, then I might look and see what the rows got in it and see whether there's a larger number in a row and whether I decide whether I want to... Uh, make sure that the person gets the lower choice. So there's a lot of strategy that sits inside this game.